Okay, so it's been a minute, but I've been working on some stuff. I just wanna make this quick video to show a little bit of progress. I'm working on the next like uh, scene inspired by Akira. And the scene itself is gonna be pretty simple. It's kind of like where the buildings are just like, you know, next to each other. Um, so I've been using uh, Mid Journey to help with a little bit of texture work. So as you know that if you've downloaded this building pack, you'll see that in the pack, I you, it just comes with this image that I have from uh, like a photo reference pack I got a long time ago. It's this one image and it's edited so that it, it's only picking up like the window lights from the building. But what I realized is that I want way more density. I want like a uh, texture where it's just a bunch of windows. So I was thinking of using Photoshop to make it and just like clone stamping things or like selecting things and moving them around. But I had the idea of like, why don't I use uh, Mid Journey for this? And um, it worked out pretty well. As you can see here on the left side, this is the version I got after like a couple iterations and then going into Photoshop and then like multiplying them around and using um, some effects and filters and things to kind of knock out some of the colors and keep only the the bright window part so this is using only this texture here it's going through a little bit of saturation and this is kind of how it turned out i think it turned out it's turning out pretty good and what i'm noticing is that like right now uh this image for example has its own and it's really good it's a really good image like look at how like it looks pretty detailed and there's some just just goodness going on here like very very believable junk visual greeble stuff that is very believable if you were to look at it up close like this stuff looks great but because these buildings have window frames and everything like that modeled into them those can get in the way of like the window frames that are happening in the in the uh, in the image texture so i'm still kind of new to like what textures work and how to use ai like to my advantage but here's a Here's one that I made that worked out pretty good. So this one is really nice. This one is super, super dense and like upscaling it and stuff helps. So I don't know if this one's tiled, but this is like the four result that Mid Journey gives you in, in a single block. But it's so good that you can't even tell, you can't really see the seams. And this is just, this is perfect because I don't have to go in manual in Photoshop and tile everything like that. This is just gonna work especially for what I'm using it for, which is background, buildings, windows, just filling in the space on a window to make it look believable. Like you kind of be seeing it from this angle. Uh, I'm gonna show you how the buildings turned out. And so I have these two buildings here. Uh, this is all super rough early stuff. So it's not fully developed. All right, let's, let's take a look at, so I got these, I made a couple more variations through mid journey and I think I got closer to what I want, so let me let me find the one. Aha, uh -huh. this was the one I think I showed in the first part. Yeah, so I, so I took that original texture that you saw, and then went into Photoshop anyway, and like st staggered some of the layers and did like lighting, you know, adjustments and stuff to really pack the windows in more, and that just gave me the freedom to not. Like, so then I can just have these super wide, long faces. I don't have to really focus on whether it's lining up and then just line up that UV with the with each of these strips. And you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. So if I go into edit mode, and let's say for this building, these are the UVs where the windows are. And you can kind of see they're just like overlaid on top. Not super duper clean, but just over the stuff that's important. And when I turn it into a uh, rendered view, okay, so here we are. Let's go into EV, it looks better in EV. So you can see that this is the result. And now if you look really close, it's it's like good enough. And if anything, the extra um, like seams in between the windows make it look more dense. But the idea is to kind of have these be very distant buildings. So like they're in the distance and especially if we put an array modifier around this thing it really shines as a building it really shows there we go like that and then same one here like that so then if we put in i mean we don't even really need to do too much but you, you're starting to kind of see it let me let me add a bloom a bloom will always yeah bloom always really i need to turn up the emission that's what it is yeah, there we go. Ooh. It's looking good. So 
Yeah, I mean, like, you know, we can duplicate these and have them just like as background anime buildings that in the, you know, that are in the style of Akira. I think this is, uh, I think this is definitely kind of what we're looking for. And it's what I'm looking for. Um, so you can, I actually finished that scene, that the scene with, that I was mentioning earlier with the stack buildings. And also, I know this video is a little bit short. I don't want to leave you hanging. So I'm going to drop a couple of these mid-journey window textures in a link. Same same area down below the timestamps and everything um, for y'all. So you can have them for free just for watching and for subscribing and for being cool. I'm going to be uploading a longer video where I show how I made the scene, the, the Akita scene. But if you want to see me model these buildings and kind of see how I created this, uh, just let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. And um, yeah, I think I think there's some really fun. Ooh, I wanted to try that. Dang, that looks cool. So then it's like, yo. Okay, hold on. Let me try that. This is cool, right? Like this is. They look wild. They look like just weird LED boxes. But again, for the for the scene, that's like these buildings are in the background and they're everywhere. I think this really looks, this looks really nice. So yeah, I just wanted to share that quick little process with you and I'll be dropping the window textures that I made on Gumroad if you want to download them there. I'm not sure about the buildings, but because they're not finished, I might just throw them there anyway because it makes it a little bit easier to set up and everything like that. I want to give a shout out to the patrons because that's really what allows me to release this stuff for free. That support like really goes a long way. Uh, so if you want to support me directly, you can go over there, get more 3D assets, get longer process videos, commentary, all that good stuff. You know the deal. Links, links to that and everything will be below the timestamps. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.